down because I brought it down. No fatigue. You are walking like at the courage run. There's no laugh. Heck man. yes. There is just concentration and commitment, right? And hard work. Hard work. Real hard work. And that's how you did what you did on Saturday. About 2.15 in the morning, we got a phone call from the police saying that um, the car they found that had been in an accident was registered to our home. So my husband and I, you know, of course hurried to get down there, but didn't think anything too bad had happened. And we were met in the emergency department by the clergy. We stayed there for two to three hours while they worked on her, not knowing anything. You know, seeing her that first time when they finally did allow us to go back, I was just in shock. I mean, she had wires and tubes and monitors and, you know, her beautiful blonde hair was just red with blood and the um, neurosurgeons and the neurologists didn't give us much hope that she would make it, come out of the coma, and if she did, she would be in a vegetated state. But to me, that was fine. I was happy with that. You know, just for her to be alive, and if that meant dedicating the rest of my life to, to caring for her, I was fine with that. She was in a coma for 47 days, and on the 17th of January, she, she came out of her coma. The hardest part of this whole thing was being patient and having to deal with that. I couldn't do things I, I could do before, like being the whole wheelchair thing, and then having to learn how to walk again. I felt like an infant. When I did first come and meet Nicole and, and set her up with her knee extension dyna splint, she was in her um, agitated state uh, during her brain injury recovery. She was in a lot of discomfort and a lot of pain, and you know we had to work through that and progress slowly to get her to tolerate the splints. She was all balled up in a wheelchair with significant soft tissue contractures, significant spasticity or increased tone. And the nice thing about the Dyna Splint with Nicole was that when she had changes in spasticity, the tension would give, and then the low load tension would release and she would make more gains. When I first came out of the hospital, my left hand was stuck in a fist and stuck up to my chest. So this thing, I had to have a brace to first straighten out my arm and then take it out of the fist, so that's what this does. You know, when she was using her Dynas once in outpatient therapy, you know, th those were painful times for you too. You know, it was, it was hard to see her have to endure a lot of what she did, and sometimes it was hard for me to come and turn your Dynas splint up when I knew that you were not wanting it. Every single visit that Nicole has with us, she demonstrates change each time. Honestly, when Nicole first came to us, we had no idea that she would actually be ambulatory. We are astonished at her progress, and I think that the sky's the limit. Nicole and I came to therapy one day here at Jim Thorpe and there were signs posted about this Courage Walk. And I said to her, well, do you think we could do that? And she says, yeah, Mom, I'd really like to try. I wanted to do it because I used to run constantly before my, my accident. I thought she'd want to do the 1K and she says, no, Mom, I want to do the 5K. So every day we would walk. She calls it her training. 
before the race and uh, we did do the 5K. I like challenging myself because it makes me feel better at the end of the day when I know I can actually do it. Seeing Nicole do the Jim Thorpe walk on Saturday was all I could have ever wanted for Mother's Day gift. My mom means the world to me. God gave me her for a reason. And because of her, that's how I got my amazing recovery. Mom, what does this day mean to you? Now moving to the 45 Just to 49 show all the hard work that she's put into day. this. First you know, place. Not that I have, that we have. And that we have. I'm very proud of you. I know this hasn't been very easy. You know, you were such an independent, vibrant, you know, self-sufficient person with dreams and goals, and you will get there. It's just a little minor setback. Thank you for so much for everything that you've done for me to help me start walking again. You've been there through it all, and you only got one mother, and you're loved so very much for that. I want to encourage you to wear your giant splints because it takes hard work and determination to get where I'm at today. And not giving up. Never give up.